Hi everyone, this is Tani. Welcome to Easy Cooking. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make tamales. This is a family recipe. This is my grandma's recipe, so I really hope you enjoy it. The cooking time is going to be about an hour and 30 minutes. The preparation time, it does take a lot of time to make tamales. So I recommend that if you're going to be making this, you prepare all the fillings the night before, and that will save you a lot of time. So before I start with this recipe, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for your support. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. So thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get started. For this recipe, we need fresh corn masa or instant uh, corn masa. I'm using one and a half kilos, which is 3.3 pounds. We also need lard. For every kilo of masa, you will need half a kilo of lard. I'm using 750 grams of lard. We need corn husk. You will need one or two per tamal. Sometimes they are really big, so you will only need one. And sometimes they are smaller, so you might need two for each tamal. We also need salt to taste, and you might also need chicken broth. The chicken broth is only if needed. For the filling, I'm using one whole chicken, whole pepper to taste, one garlic clove, two bay leaves, half a small onion, and salt to taste. If you want to make cheese tamales, you need Havarti cheese, cut into strips about half an inch thick, and you will need one per tamal, and we also need pickled jalapenos. For the red salsa, we need 20 guajillo chiles or mirasol chiles, one pound of tomatillos or green tomatoes, one garlic clove, salt to taste, whole black pepper to taste, a teaspoon of ground cumin, and half a tablespoon of lard. For the green salsa, we need one pound of tomatillos or green tomatoes, six jalapeno peppers, Remember the jalapeno peppers are to taste, so you can use less or more if you prefer so. We also need one garlic clove, salt to taste, whole black pepper to taste, and half a tablespoon of lard. Let's get started. We're going to soak the corn husk in warm water for at least two hours or until you're ready to use them. Now we're going to cook the chicken, so in boiling water, add in the onion, the bay leaves, the garlic, and the black pepper, and also add plenty of salt. Then add in the chicken and cook for about an hour or until it's completely cooked. Once the chicken is done, remove it from the broth, save the broth because you might need it, and let the chicken cool. Then shred it and set it aside until you're ready to use it. Now to make the green salsa, peel off the tomatillos and remove the stems from the jalapeno peppers. Place them both in a saucepan and rinse them with warm water. Then fill the pan with enough water to cover them and cook for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they are nice and soft. Once they are ready, drain them, place them in a blender, add in the garlic, the black pepper, salt to taste and about half a cup of water. Blend on high until the salsa is nice and smooth. Now in a saucepan, add in half a tablespoon of lard and cook the green salsa on medium heat until it comes to a boil. Once it's boiling, taste the flavor and add more salt if needed. If you think the salsa is too thick, feel free to add more water, but you don't want it to be super watery. Once the salsa is done, set it aside until you're ready to use it. Now to make the red salsa, peel off the tomatillos and place them in a saucepan. Now remove the stems from the dried chilies, cut each chili in half and remove some of the seeds from the inside. You don't have to remove all the seeds, just some of them. Then place them in the same saucepan with the tomatillos. Fill the saucepan with water and cook the tomatillos and peppers for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they are nice and soft. Then drain them and place them in a blender. Also add in half a cup of water and add in the garlic clove, about a teaspoon of cumin, whole black pepper to taste and salt to taste. Blend on high for about 3 minutes or until the salsa is smooth. If you think the salsa is too thick, you can add more water, but you don't want it to be extremely watery. Now in a saucepan, Add about half a tablespoon of lard and we're going to strain the salsa. I'm 
we're going to cook uh, the salsa for about 10 to 15 minutes on medium heat or until it comes to a boil. Once it's boiling, taste the flavor and add any more salt if needed. If you want, you can also add some water if you think it's necessary. And once the salsa is done, set it aside until you're ready to use it. Once everything is ready, now you can prepare the masa for the tamales. We're going to heat up the lard in the microwave for about one minute, just to warm it up a little bit. Now in a large bowl or container, add in the fresh masa or the instant masa, and also add in the lard. You can add in the lard a little bit at a time if you prefer so. Remember, for every kilo of masa, you will need half a kilo of lard. It does sound like a lot of lard, but that's exactly what makes good tamales. All the flavor in the masa comes from the lard. And to make tamales, you want the masa to be super moist and soft. So after you add in the lard, now season the masa with plenty of salt, then start mixing everything together with your hands. It's very important that you use your hands because you want to get rid of any large lumps in the masa and to do so you will have to do it with your hands. So just keep on mixing or kneading the masa for as long as you need to. This will take about 10 minutes. So just keep on mixing the masa until it's nice and smooth. Then add in the rest of the lard, knead again or mix again and then taste the flavor and add any more salt if needed. After you add all the lard, if you think your masa is still a little bit too dry, then you can add a chicken broth if you think it's necessary. I think mine needs a little bit of chicken broth, so I'm going to add in a little bit of chicken broth. It's about half a cup of chicken broth. Then I'm going to knead again, and that's about it. Once the masa gets the right consistency and the right flavor, you're ready to start making the tamales. Now drain the corn husk and get all your ingredients together. So to make the tamales, we're going to grab one of the corn husk and we're going to spread the masa over the husk using a spoon. We're going to avoid the end of the husk. Spread the masa on a nice even layer. I don't like my tamales to be super thick, but you can make the masa layer as thick as you want. A quarter of an inch or half an inch will be okay. Now we're going to add some of the chicken right in the center and spoon some of the sauce over the chicken. Now bring the size of the husk in to cover the filling and then fold in the end of the husk toward the center as well and just keep on doing this until you're done. And you're going to repeat the same steps with the red salsa. So after you adding the chicken, spoon some of the red salsa over the chicken. Now bring the size of the husk in to cover the filling and then fold in the end of the husk toward the center as well and just keep on doing this until you're done. And if you want to make some cheese tamales, spread the masa over the husk, then add in a strip of cheese right in the center and top it with the pickled jalapenos. Bring the size of the husk in to cover the filling and fold in the end of the husk toward the center. And that's about it, just keep on repeating these steps until you're done. Once you're done, shred a couple of corn husks, grab one of the husk ribbons and wrap it around your red tamales just so you will be able to tell the difference between red ones and green ones. And that's about it. Once you're done, add plenty of water to your steamer, place the tamales in the steamer and cook them for about 1 hour and 30 minutes or until they are cooked. And that's about it. Once they are cooked, you're ready to eat. Enjoy! I really hope you like this video to print this and some other delicious recipes. Please don't forget to visit my blog and don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!